You know? It was a very bad idea. Conceiving the thought that you can frolic with my ma was a very bad idea. Do you know what's even worse? It's the fact that you went ahead to execute this plan of yours. Please, I'm sorry. I, I don't have anything to do with Leonard. I was on my own when he came to me and I rejected him. You don't talk when she's talking. What audacity. Who gave you the guts to open that gutter you call a mouth? To say that you rejected Almighty Miranda's boyfriend. You know, I have one question for you. Who is your audacity plug? Because girl, you've got an excessive amount of it. So what exactly are you trying to insinuate? That is not your type of what? Oh, is that why you rejected him? Don't tell me you want to believe this cheap lie this moron is scheming to feed us with. We all know Leonard is the hottest boy in school and all the girls have eyes on him. I am fully aware that all the girls in this school want my man. But it's so unfortunate that some are so ignorant of the fact that my venom cannot be cured. I am ready, I am willing to deal and do away with anyone and anything that comes close to my man. Please. Talk more of an unfortunate bastard like you. Please don't kill me, Girl, please. Girl, I will deal with you. What'd you say? Please don't kill me. Oh. oh, poor thing. Family and friends. Am I that bad? No. no. I don't like when you sound this way. I'm not, look, I'm not bad, okay? I'm, I'm a friend. But you know what, baby? Oh, come on, baby. You know I'm going to kill you. I mean, you cannot come in here and go scot free. No one does that. Before I kill you, I want my family, and of course my friends, to leave a mark on your face. That when you resurface the other world, she will not forget Miranda. Right, baby? Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Girls, do the need for. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Please don't beg me to kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Start what I'm about to do. <laughs> Someone who has vowed to destroy all your negative effort in this school. Tell me, aren't you ashamed of yourself? Ashamed of myself? Yes. For what exactly? Trying to kill your fellow girl just because of one small brat, one small boy. So pathetic. Point of correction. A dog that chases everything under skirts. Thank you. That boy really needs taming. 
You've got two options here. You caught her, kill her, then get ready to spend the rest of your life in jail together with your puppets. Or you let her go. Easy peasy. Then everything is going to be fine. The unfortunate bastard now finally has a mouth to talk. It is obvious that Nicole has been feeding your wings with so much ego. That you think you can actually confront me, Miranda. Wow. Nick. So you brought your girls into my zone, uninvited to insult me. No, wait, you brought these dogs. To come and threaten me? Mirinda. Mirinda. Whatever, I don't care. I choose to call you Mirinda and you will answer. Mm. Please, don't flatter yourself. You're not that important. I and my girls don't make threats. We take action. What do you think would happen when I go to the principal to report you to him? Alongside four witnesses. I am sure your linen livered girls here will not want to spend the rest of your lives in jail just because of one promiscuous boy. One good for nothing boy. So it's your choice. Tell me, do you want to do that which is in your mind? Or you want to take the advice Melody gave you? Your silence has answered my question. Go. Go out. Just one minute. Please. You are just all behaving like this. Miranda. My eyes are on you. And I will frustrate your effort in this school. You bet on that. Girls, let's go. Are you just going to do Miranda, why would you give in that easily? I wasn't expecting you to give in that easily on that cheap, badly presented blackmail. Will you shut up? You call that blackmail? Really? Cheap blackmail, you say? I mean, what if they had a camera or something videoing us to, to put out there? That was no cheap blackmail. That was real. I mean, we all know what will happen if that goes out. What? What? Yes, what? We are not only going to be expelled from the school. We'll be put behind bars, you dummy. Use your brains more than use your mouth. Miranda is right. Oh God, please. I don't want to go to prison. Not at this young age. Not ever. Get your shit together, Sandra. I don't think they made any video coverage of us. If not, you would have seen them in the act. My annoyance is that those little brats have the guts to challenge the almighty Miranda here. And one of them even called on at a dog. Mine is that melody of a girl. I, I will put her to the ground where she belongs. And I will aggressively step on her. Because I did not forget the last time where she had to disgrace me in front of everybody in the class. In our last class, we discussed about ecosystem. Who can define for me what an ecosystem is? That is okay. Debra, define ecosystem. Nothing. Sam. What is that? Ma, what, what did you say, Ma? I said define ecosystem. <clears throat> ecosystem. Um, ecosystem. Ma, ecosystem. Ecosystem. Um, ecosystem. For example, if you are in an 
uncompleted building and you scream. It's going to echo. It's going to follow you and, you know, do <laughs> ha, ha, ha together. So, that is to say, um, an ecosystem is the system that echoes <clears throat> when you scream in the air. Oh. Hey! <laughs> hey, bra, you are so dumb. I cannot define an ecosystem. Ah, uh, man, I can. Melody, define ecosystem. Yes, An ecosystem is a system formed by an ecological community that functions as a unit. Great! A round of applause for her. So, we continue. I and Melody have scores to settle. When the hunter is absent from the forest, the animals rejoice in ignorance, not knowing that he's at home, mending his traps. I swear to God, I swear to God and of course the devil, that when I strike, when I decide to strike, I will strike so hard that those bastards will regret why our paths ever crossed. When I strike. What I saw yesterday, what I saw yesterday on my way out of the library is too heavy for my mouth. It's a weight for my mouth to carry. What happened? Do you know what? Just behave like I didn't say anything. Okay? I don't oh, want to no. say it. Tell me why. Because some things are better left unsaid. Lucas, we're friends. I will promise not to hide anything from each other. Tell me. You will be desperate to know. Fine. Yesterday, I saw Miranda and her friends trying to kill a girl. They wanted to stab her. What? Yes. But your sister Melody and her friends came to save the student. If not, we would have come back to school this today and see another dead body in guise of suicide. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I'm very sure. Your sister, Melody, and her friends are blessings to the school. Blessing? At the detriment of her safety? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Wait, where are you going? Ah, do you remember my sister where she's coming from? Come back, those words. Don't tell her anything. Don't tell her I told you anything. Don't worry, calm down. Why do you want to tell this girl now? Listen, I cannot be paying attention. <laughs> this girl. Sister, what am I hearing? Excuse. <laughs> what are you hearing? That Miranda and I, Mr. Ruth, to kill a girl, and you your friend saved her. Who told you that? That question is inconsequential now. Listen, Crystal. This is dangerous for you. And whatever you heard, you need to avoid them right now. I'm glad you know it's dangerous. Yet you're risking your life just to save someone. Need I remind you, we have no one. Only a mother who considers us our work. And if anything should happen to any of us, it will kill her. I shouldn't be judged for doing what is right. Should I have left the poor girl to be injured? I expect you to know where we're coming from. And all we have to do is... Oh, sorry about that. It's okay, it's okay. Come on, I understand. 
<laughs> okay, let's go. The thick one on the side of prayer, help me really, full of grace. Are you sure of what you just told me now? I am very, very sure. I vividly heard them telling Crystal that he saw us trying to stop someone. What of them now knows? With Nico and our friend. We need to do something. We need to act fast. I don't need to remind you guys that those junior students do not know how to keep their mouth shut. Do I? That's true. If this gets out, the school authority will put one and two together and realize that we are responsible for Lucy's condition, whom we push down the story building buffet to die. Thank God she had amnesia, else we would have been behind bars by now. Hmm. Same Lucy. That is currently a vegetable. Because she cannot do anything with any part of her body because of the fall. And if the school finds out it has only always been us, <laughs> my dear, we are done. Girls, we need to act fast. The teacher wanted to talk to us, but you brought us to the bush. Why? Exactly. What are we doing here? I don't understand. What are we doing here? We have a party. <laughs> this little rat of a boy. It has come to my hearing that you saw something that you weren't supposed to see. Bad things, to be precise. And you went ahead to tell your friend. Uh, what do friends do? They look out for each other, right? So it wouldn't be a bad idea if she shares in your punishment. No, ma, please. It's because she's my friend, that's why I told her what I saw. Mm. And she doesn't have to add in the punishment, please spare her. Mm. So cute. Sorry, please. What are you going to do to us? Family and friends, what am I going to do to them? You love sweets, right? Oh, come on. I know you like sweets. Do you want sweets? No, mm -hmm. oh. Me. Don't be like that. Well, I really wish I could let you go, but I can't. I can't trust you. No. Junior students, you talk a lot. Even if I use the strongest glue to shut your mouth up, you still talk. So I cannot trust you. We can't be friends. So I have to kill you. You know, today is the best day of my life. Because... I finally get to dig my knife into my other sister's heart. I wonder how your sister's face will be when she sees your dead body. <laughs> Guys, leave this one for me. Lucas, <gasps> you scared me. I have not seen my sister since school dismissal. I've been looking for her. Do you know where she is? I have a premonition that something bad is happening wherever she is. 
that something is not right. Do you know where she could be? It's all my fault. What is all your fault? I told her what I saw Miranda and her friends doing to a student. Oh. You were the one that told her that? Yes. So, where is she now? Miranda and her girls kidnapped her. So, where did they take her to? They are at the abandoned bush, far behind the female hostel, close to that big tree. I'll be right back. Wait! Take this. There's pepper in it. I use it to defend myself. Please bring her back. Thank you. Please don't give me, please. I beg you. Let my sister go now. Wow. Wow, guys. Look who we have here. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Wong! Mm. 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 This secret should follow us till we are being laid to rest beyond Mother Earth. Anyone that tries to divulge anything that happened here today to anyone will be miserable until their last days on Earth. So shall it be. Your sister, hope she's safe now. I can't say for that. I haven't set eyes on her. Tell me, what really happened? They were trying to kill me. My sister Melody came to rescue me. They were wearing knives. I just hope they don't hurt my sister. It's all my fault. I knew how dangerous those girls were, and I still told you what they were, I saw them doing. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Isn't it obvious that this matter is far above us? We need to report to the principal. Exactly. I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, where are you going? So, young man, what is so important that you want to talk to me about? That you can't even wait till break time or maybe after school. So that's because what I'm about to tell you can't wait. Else things will get worse. Can't wait. Yes, things sir. will get worse. Yes, sir. Okay. What is it? So what are you looking at through my window? Sadia here. Sadia so, so, so here. They are here. Who? Sir, what happened yesterday? Are you okay? What is wrong with you? Nothing, sir. You know what? Leave my office. S now! Sir, please. This is. I said, leave my office before I order them to flood you the next lesson. Can you imagine? So, yeah, yeah, I get this. The 
seriously we're about to tell the principal. We just made things more complicated. We're getting ourselves into more trouble. We've just gotten ourselves into more trouble. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that even after you narrowly escaped death the last time, you still went ahead to report me to the principal. No, we didn't. We did not. We didn't say anything. Seniors, please don't harm us. Please, I beg you. No. I won't. At least not now. The next time you try this nonsense. Any more attempt, I will make sure I pierce this through your heart, bring it out, and feed it to my ancestors. Miranda, just kill those genius and clear our traces completely. That's risky. It's going to raise dust. But I'll strike again. Right, besties? And when that time comes, I will personally bring out your heart with my dagger. With all pleasure. Hmm? <laughs> you know you're very beautiful. You don't? Where you are. Why are you staring at me? You like it? Please, I have a question to ask. Please, where's my sister? Same place you will be if you try to devote anything that you know to anyone else. Outside the circle. Bye bye. Your sister. Girls, this is all like Melody. It's been two days now, two days. No one has seen or heard anything from her. It looks as if she disappeared from the surface of the earth. This is strange. Did she fly the school fence to somewhere we don't know? <laughs> never. The Melody I know can never sneak out of school to anywhere. She's not that kind of a person. And even if she happens to, she will tell us her friends. I know. But I've run out of excuses to explain her sudden disappearance. Oh, sister, how are you? Where is your sister? Um, yes, I mean, no, um, we Where is your sister? What is wrong with you? What is no, yes, no, yes? Where is Melody? With all due respect, I shall ask you to leave for our friends. <laughs> when was the last time you heard from her? Like two days ago. Two what? Days. Wait, Crystal Bell. Two days. For two good days, you've not seen your sister. You have not heard anything from her. And you didn't even bother? 
Yes, yes. You didn't even think of coming to ask us our friend. Yeah, um, I was meaning Co to... Wait. I don't know. I don't understand you. Yes, no, yes, no. Is there anything you're hiding from us? Is there anything you want to tell me? Yes, I mean, no, no, no. Um, I was meaning to meet you people yesterday. I mean, today. Can you shut up? What is wrong with you? Why do you keep... Why, why are you stammering? Just talk to us. If there is any issue, if there is anything, just tell me. You know you can always tell me. What is it? No, nothing. Say something. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, there's nothing. All right, she can go. I strongly believe she's lying. It's very obvious she's lying. It's written all over her. I don't know what she's hiding, but I intend to find out. Nicole, please, just find out. I'll see you girls later. Mom, Melody have been sneaking out of the school compound for some times now. I tried to warn her, but she didn't listen to me. Plus, she has been mixing herself with bad friends. That's impossible. Crystal, are you the one talking or there's something speaking through you? Why would you say such a thing about your sister? Melody is a good girl. Well brought up. She's my daughter. I know her very well. She will never indulge in such acts. And she will never miss herself with bad company or bad friends, as you say. I'm sorry, Mom. Well, I'm sorry, Madam. You heard it all from your daughter, Krista. Students are warned about the dangers of sneaking out of the school premises and the many troubles that lies ahead. But they wouldn't listen. Anyway, you have nothing to bother yourself about. We have contacted the necessary authorities and they are doing everything they can to make sure that she's found. I'm really sorry. What is it, Nicole? What? What happened? Talk to us now. Nicole! Melody. Melody. Melody what? What happened to Melody? Talk to us, what happened? Melody is dead. <laughs> what happened to her? Like, how, how did you know? I just saw it in my dream. She was killed and buried on her next day, surface of the earth. So you, you want us to believe what you saw in your dream? What is wrong with you? I. I it was very clear. You know I barely dream and whenever I do, it usually comes to pass or it has already happened. I saw it. Miranda and her girls killed her and buried her corpse. I saw it. I, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Carrie. Yes. Well, get me Krista. <laughs> Oh God, please. Oh God, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I still don't. I still don't. Christabel, I am going to ask you this question one more time. And if you dare lie to me, I swear, I swear with anything you believe in that I will sniff air out of your lungs. What happened to your sister, Melody? She's dead! Oh, no. Miranda and her friends killed her. They threatened me not to say a word. If I do, they'll kill me or so. I didn't say 
breathing because I was scared. No. Thank you. No. 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 It's not true. No. 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 God, no. I swear. I swear by everything I believe in that the way they took the life of my friends, that is how I will cut their life short one after another. Nico, we are not murderers. But they murdered our own. They killed your friend, son, sister. What do you want to do? To sit here and cry all day? Why the people that killed your friend? shall advance around the surface of the earth. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> Melody was such a sweet and nice soul. We would do anything for her. Yes. So you want to do? Go on, please. Why do you this? Uh, what am I doing? Because I know what you're doing. What? Why are you actually denying my right? Babe, come on. You know I'll never do that. I'm just... Well, so tell let's me. just say I want you to miss me more. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Don't you miss me? I, I miss you every day. Remember how I gave you the last time? <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So, baby boy, mm -hmm. don't you trust me? I do. You know how we do it, right? Of course I do. <laughs> hey! Come here. Were you looking at my man and smiling? Smiling, I wasn't. Oh, you weren't. I wasn't. But you were walking seductively, knowing fully well that my boyfriend is here. I wasn't neither. What a pathetic liar. You know what? New. New. Even the air that blows around us cool is intimate with the fact that no one, I mean no one, looks at my man. Can you imagine? You know what? You will stay here until I say otherwise. It's yours. Did oh, you miss me? Because you know I do. Uh -huh. uh... Don't stress yourself, you know, it's always going to be you and you alone. Of course, baby. But I need to teach her a lesson. Oh, come on, you don't have to Baby, do no, I will. I mean, no one looks at you and goes got free. Not when I, Miranda, is in the school. It's a It won't happen. It's a That's it. That's my <laughs> baby. <laughs> do you know what? Um, I think we should just go out of the back here and, and have some good time. Yeah? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Of course. Okay, let's go to the back. The back, yeah. Number spot. Yes. <laughs> are you sure you're ready to do this damn about story? Of course I am. I'm with you. We need to take Deborah off. Do you know anyone that can handle it? I don't know how we're going to do it. But I want her off from the surface of the earth. Poison her, get boys to mother her, whichever way we need to do it. Deborah must not leave another day. I think I have an idea. Nora has sent me to be the best option. Nora. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Debra! 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 Open your eyes! Debra! 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 Open your eyes now! Debra! Debra! Now open your eyes! She's not breathing! How does this even work? How can someone be healthy going about a normal life one minute, the person falls down and die? <sighs> God. So if I had collected that food and ate it, I would have been a dead person by now. Debra was poisoned. How can you say for sure? My late father had the same symptoms when his brother poisoned him. I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I just hope it's not what I'm thinking. Because if Nora, her seatmate, did this, hmm. or Nicole and her girls, I swear I will shove as it down their throat. Her mother have decided to run an autopsy for her. Let's just wait for the results. I'm tired of this whole thing that is going on in this car. I just want to go home. I already tried calling my mom, but I couldn't connect her. But if I will, I will go home. So just like that, Deborah is dead. Deborah. Oh, Deborah. Melody. Melody. I summon your weak spirit to come now. Come. Why did you have to wake me up from my sleep? I was gathering enough spiritual force to sweep evil out of that school. Listen, if you're ever thinking of laying your cursed fingers on my friends, then you have a bigger force coming your way. I know you have not changed. I still feel that burning fire of hate oozing out of you for me. That's because we still have scores to settle. Scores we couldn't settle while we were alive. But surely, we will in death. I am not surprised with your presence. I did not expect the fire of destruction to be extinguished that easily. But know this, I will surely send you back to the great beyond to face eternal damnation for your sins.
Deborah, stop trying to light a candle in the wind because it will not work. You seek revenge while I seek to eradicate evil, which makes me more stronger than you. I am the wind and I will blow you off, Deborah. You lie. Stop trying, because you can't run. Please, do not kill me. Do not kill me, I beg of you, please. I shouldn't have killed you. <laughs> then I guess you have a choice. Under your leg. Pick it up. Whatever is written in there will be your fate. Read it out loud. Kill me and my mother. Please. Do not kill my mother. Kill me instead. Please. Of course. Of course I will kill you. First. The same person you were trying to save. The reason you poisoned me. Now your mother is going to die painfully and slowly in my own hands.
don't you just die? Die and let me have my way! You cannot kill one who has already had a bitter taste of death. I love this dwelling. The one you want to kill is the one fate used to bring you to me in the spiritual realm to finish what we started. I would say she's a blessing, not a curse. And of course, I'm loving this ride. Suicide. Isn't it obvious? She felt guilty for what we made her do. At this point, I do not care. I do not care what instigated her to take such a decision. But oh, I am glad. It's the fact that she did not go to the school authority to report us to them. Thank if God. not, she would have had us to contend with. Why would I slap you? Are you mad? Ah! And is that why you slapped I me? I did not slap you. You did. I did not. I said you slapped ah, me. Ah, Jesus, why did you slap me now? Ah. Are you mad? I did not slap you. <laughs> Who can have a daughter less to a mother and the entire school of what really killed her sister? I can't imagine the pain my mother will be going through now. Just because of the lies and distance I've done. I'm a kind of bad person. You're not a bad person. You're just trying to get saved yourself. Let me tell you, as it stands now, if anything happens to you, your mother won't be able to bear it. Because you're the only one she has now. So please calm down and stop beating yourself up. Please, stop crying. Come down. What happened? The time prefect will walk in in five to tell us to go to our class. That's not possible. Five. Break time is in over. Four. Three. Two. One. What are the both of you still doing here? Don't you know break time is over? Get back to your classes. Now! Crystal, my sister, I've missed you so much. I've really missed holding you close to my heart. Sister, where have you been? 
Why can't I? We are worlds apart now. Danger is looming around. And I'm really scared for the danger to come knocking at your door. What are you talking about? You and Mama are all I have now. To be sincere, my heart bleeds when I look at you both. My heart hurts for both of you. My heart is shattered. And there is nothing much I can do to help and save you both accept this. Accept what? Parts of me now lives inside Lucas. Because I will not be around all the time to protect you and mother. So Lucas, just like the hen protects her chicks, make sure to protect my sister with your life. I miss my sister so much. When I saw her in the vision, I wish she never left. What is it? It's here. What's here? Give me your hand. You need to embrace yourself for what is about to come. Lucas, what are you doing? <gasps> I guess I underestimated you both.
myself. How are you able to do all that? I don't know. It felt as though something was working for me. Does it have anything to do with that vision? I don't know. Wait. The brass ghost is on the rampage to kill us all. I'm very scared. But you know what? Don't be scared, okay? Just as a hand guards her cheek. I will make sure no harm comes near you, okay? Nothing will happen to you. Let's go. understand girl what really happened did you provoke him or what provoke who i i didn't we were just making out the next thing started biting me i don't know what i did to him did you did you guys see it i didn't do anything to him what must have made him angry to do this to you this is really strange i think he was spiritually hypnotized what Hypnotized? You girls will go back to the school and face the consequences of your actions. If you try to disobey me, your fate will be crushed even before you try. Go now. Go now! Where's your pimp? -pim? My pimp? -pim? Yeah, where is it? Wait, John, what do you mean? Where's my pimp? -pim? I can't believe it now. I can't believe Where is your pimp? -pim? Where's my pimp? -pim? Where is he? The manhood. What? Just... It's supposed to be a tool for procreation. But since you've decided to use yours to send evil to this school, then be my guest. What is it? Are you blocking me? Is anything wrong with you? Are you mad or something? Stop letting those girls go out just because they give you money. Is, any is anything wrong with you? Huh? Are you mad? How do you junior students stand before me and you're here telling me nonsense? A word is enough for the wise. Oh. I see. So, how do you know about this that you're saying? Your mom is sick and urgently needs surgery. And you're trying tooth and nail to raise money for her surgery. But getting money from an unclean source would kill her faster. Oh. I see through you. You're the real villain. But when the time is right, the world will know.
I cannot see my marrow again. I, I, I was just having a good time with Precious. All of a sudden, Melody appeared. My baby disappeared. I, I, I don't know if she was the one that took my baby. But I cannot find my manhood again. Wait, so yeah. I'm confused. Which melody? The, the, the melody you, you know now. Eh? I, I saw her spirit appear in behind us. And by the time we saw her, the next day she vanished. Eh? She, she disappeared. And I cannot see my baby again. I don't know if she was the one that took my, my man who they were. Oh, now my area. So sorry. Me Lord, the way they miss for this school. Some people even thought say she don't die. Now she can't carry your... Oh, just, just take now. <laughs> hey! Lord, you don't get pimp pim again, no? Lord, you don't get polar again! Hey, do you over a man? Hey! Please don't kill me, please. I'm begging you, please. Don't kill me, please. I'm begging you. Please, please forgive me, please. My own. After all, my one is to you. Under the scorching sun and in the rain, will she stand there and face the ugly consequences of life? Just as this tree is rooted into Mother Earth. No power can break my spell. Undo the spell. Now! Baby, please save me. Save me, Deborah, please. Please save me, Deborah, please save me. <laughs> I don't want to remain here, Deborah, please save me. Save me, please, Deborah, save me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, please. <laughs> forgive me. Please. <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> it's me, Eunice. Melody's ghost told me to a tree. Please do something to revive me back, please. <laughs> Sandra! 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 Linda! 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 I had my name. Wait. Is that not Eunice's voice? Linda! 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 So you mean Eunice has been caged inside that tree? Yes. Serious? Do you know you caused this? It's all your fault. How? It's all your fault. If you hadn't told us that you saw Lauren flourishing with Leonard and advised that we kill her, all this wouldn't be happening. No, stop. I was only trying to protect you girls. I never knew it would come up like this. I am so scared. I don't want to die. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, okay? But nobody's going to die. There's this place I will take you girls. Dear, you'll be fortified. And after the fortification, no man born of a woman or any spirit can harm you. Don't worry. I will handle it. I messed it up. I will handle it, okay? You don't believe me. Right? You don't believe me.
come on. I can hear you. Speak. You all are in the right place. We are here because... Because you all need purification from an angry spirit who is on a rampage, <laughs> on a mission, looking for vengeance. The gods are extra wise. This is your last bus stop, the end of your worries and unrest. When I'm done purifying you, no immortal, mortal, or evil spirit under the sun can harm you. In fact, you will be the one looking for it to destroy. I like the sound of that. I'm hearing. Anamanu, Anamanu. Speak to me, speak to me, speak to me. Yes. Now, you all are indestructible. No harm can come to your dwelling. Go in peace. Morning spirit, your worst mistake is stepping your feet into the shrine. I will make sure I take you to the land of eternal dimension. How dare you have my own? How dare you? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. You killed her. You killed Sandra. I will destroy you.
purification was supposed to make us indestructible. Why Sandra? Why must she die? I, I don't know. I am confused too. We must go back to that man. Definitely we will. Definitely. Oh God. There is a wind, a mighty wind. Just like a raging storm. Blowing around us. Oh. Who's gonna save us from all these things? Just like a burning flame, everyone is feeling the heat. Oh, where do we run to? Cause the mountains are falling upon us. There's so much hate, so much bitterness, so many killings. And so many lies, oh, how did we get here, oh, 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 oh. who's gonna save our children, oh, 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 oh. Jesus! Um, um, honey, listen, I... It's Candice. What? It's not what you think. It's, it's, it's not what you think. You will have an affair with my boyfriend? No. No, no, no. No, no. no. Why? No, no, listen, no, it's not what you think. You, 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 you cost uh, Oh, it's not what you think, you know. I, I can't hold to you, know that. I'm always on your side. He, he, it's just that he, 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 he seduced me. Now, speak. I, 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 I did not see. It's so, not funny. Oh my God! No, it's speak okay. now. It's not what you think, okay? I, I always have affair with uh, with Ronald, okay? And I love him so much. I love him so much. I I know I know he was promiscuous, but I don't want to share him with any other woman. That is just the truth, okay? I that is why I I had to lie to you that he was having an affair with Warren, but it's not the truth, okay? I, I and I also advise you to 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 kill her, okay? Just just calm, just calm, okay? Just calm. When when you were when you were in the in the act, I I I had to intentionally involve Nicole and her girls, okay? So that they can catch you in the act and report you to the school authority, but, uh, and then all will be imprisoned. But it didn't work out the way I think. Okay, it's not what you think, just, just calm. What just, are you saying? Just calm, okay? It's Candice. No, hey, no, please. Hey, listen, you, you're saying trash, okay? I, I, I don't just understand. Calm, just calm, just calm down. I, I, okay, I, I, later, I, later I noticed that, that he was having an affair with Sandra. Yes, yes, he was having an affair with Sandra. So I have to plan with, 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 with the native doctor to, to give her the, 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 the poison that killed her. Yes, uh, please, just, I don't know what come over me. I, I don't want to kill you yet because I still need you as an instrument to, 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 to kill the other girlfriends. Please, just, I don't know what come over me. It's the devil's handwork. What are you saying? I, 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 I don't know, I don't want to. Jesus, listen, I, I, I can't. I, I feel like strangling you. Please. No. Let her do the strangling. After all the killings, I thought I would be satisfied. But then again, I still feel this void of unaccomplishment until I erase that one person that gives your mother joy. That one person that gives you a reason to fight even in death. 
your sister, Crystal. Don't you dare lay a finger on her. Else, I'll send you to eternal tig gnashing and anguish. Let me see you try. What have you done? There is no way a spirit can break free from the captivity created from the sun from its grave. The love of family has made you weak. Sit and watch me destroy them all. What are you doing? Do you trust me? Much more than I trust myself. Enough of the back and forth. It's time to finish you both completely. possible how did you break free i disagree with you family doesn't make me weak it makes me stronger release me now sister i miss you i'm always with you part of me lives inside lucas anytime lucas is around you I'm always there with you. Release me! Now! Sit and watch me destroy everything that means so much to you. Friendly! Mr. Edwards. Sir. What is going on in this school? There is no week that passes by without either the dead body of a student being found or some are missing or some are engaged in various bad activities. And let me remind you, do you know that if this information gets to the government, they won't wait a second to shut down the school. And you know what that means. Do you know that? And you know you are the head of students' affairs. So what is going on? So, I'm trying my very best. God, your best. Your best, Mr. Edward. Your best is incompetence. Your best is not good enough. Listen to me. I'm tired of parents coming to the school day in, day out, asking for the whereabouts of their children. I am tired. I need answers, Mr. Edward. Answers. And the worst is that the, the, the hostel matron has gone missing. Like I said, sir. I am trying my very best. You know what? Maybe you should try your worst. Just do your worst. Change it from I will do my best to I will do my worst. If I leave my office. Time 
the school is being shut down. The best, in fact, you will lose your job. What are we doing here? <laughs> Please don't kill me! Does this place look familiar? This is the same place you buried me. Please, my parents and siblings will die if anything happens to me. You have parents and siblings. I only had a mother and a sister. I begged you to spare my life, but you did not hear my cry. Miranda! Eh? Eh? You will dig two graves with your bare hands. One for Lillian and the other for you. You will dig the graves with your bare hands and cover with your hands. If you do not do as I said, you would die sooner than Lillian. Even at death, Melody still plays the drum of pain in my ears and forces me to dance to the rhythm. Debra. Debra, my dear friend, do not keep calm. She has killed all your friends and I am next. Debra, do not keep calm and watch me meet my ancestors prematurely. Even in death, I will make her cry. That I promise. I need you to cage Lucas. If he's out of the picture, it will give me more space to execute my plans better. Okay, how do I do that?
boy. Where's this boy Lucas? Ah! He didn't even attend classes today. Where could he be? Ah. You! Yes. Me. You already succeeded in killing my sister. Why do you also want to kill me? Because your sister harmed my own. And it will only give me intense pleasure to see her cry over your lifeless body. Lucas! Lucas! You better stop. He won't hear you. Because I have him where I want him. Why did you have to kill my sister? She had nothing to do with this. Automatically she did. Choosing to be your sister. I told you I would subdue you. The love of family has made you weak and vulnerable. See how pathetic you look. You should know something. Your tears waters the garden of my joy. Seeing you like this is all I've ever wished for. And I am so happy to finally see it. Your school has claimed the only thing that means the whole world to me. They have claimed the only thing that brings laughter to my face and joy to my soul. They have claimed the only thing that makes me live and fight through the tides of life. I say this to you today. If I do not make your school pay for the debt of my daughter, may I cease to exist. It's all my fault. My irrational behavior has cost the school so many lives, including my best friend, Crystal, my one and only true friend. It is not your fault. It is. If I didn't tell her, Sandra wouldn't have overheard our conversation. And things wouldn't have turned out this way. I have not only ruined this school, 
I have destroyed your family. Everything was bound to happen, Lucas. Everything that happened in the physical has already happened in the spiritual. Even as a spirit, the pain still pierces through my heart like a sword. As if I'm mortal. It hurts so bad. But it has happened. There is nothing we can do about it. So please, just stop beating yourself and be okay. There is a wind, a mighty wind, just like a raging storm, blowing around us. Oh, who's gonna save us from all these things? Just like a burning flame, everyone is feeling the heat. Oh, where do we run to? Cause the mountains are falling upon us. There's so much hate, so much bitterness, so many killings and so many lies. Oh, how did we get here? Oh, 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 oh. who's gonna save our children? Oh, oh, oh. From all this hate, from all mm. these tears, <laughs> our land is crying, our children dying, dreams are drowning. <laughs> it's so sad a thing. Seems there is no, no hope for tomorrow. Mama, teach me how to love. Ooh, Papa show me the road to peace And to teach me how to care Uncle show me compassion Teach me right not wrong Good not bad Truth not lies That the world will be Please daddy don't harm me please I know you thought the battle is over, but I never forgot about you. I just had to handle a bigger chunk of meat. But you see now, I have your time. What is wrong with you? Have you not sent more than enough lives to your graves already? You have the blood of the innocent ones dripping from your hands. Are you not tired? You can save someone else. But you couldn't save your only sister from my wrath. How pathetic. You wanted to see me shattered. He succeeded. You want to see me weak so you can triumph over me. You failed.
are not the people who killed your children. Melody isn't missing. She was murdered. What you just said now seems like what happens in the movies. And I wouldn't have believed you if not for what happened in the class the other day when Miss Della turned to Deborah. It all makes sense to me now. If not for Melody, I would have been a dead girl. Even in dead, she still lives. She is the true hero. What a pity. She couldn't save her own sister from the wrath of the wicked. What a word. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Crystal, you shouldn't have come here to meet me. You came here prematurely. If not for my weakness, you would still be alive. You're the strongest being I've ever seen. Even the grace couldn't hold you back. You see, came to save lives and defeat the evil doors around the school. But I could not save you. That's the wish of fate. One enemy is still left undefeated. To defeat her, we'll have to join our powers together as one. Have you come here to make a fool out of yourself again? Listen, if you dare me today, I will send your soul away completely. The sky is blue, roses are red. The eternal end of your doom is here. What do you mean? Uh. Love of family made me stronger. Our wish. It's for the heavens to give us the opportunity for you to cuddle us and hold us close to your heart at least one last time. So that we can hear the gentle beats of your heart. But we can't. Our body is so cold and vanishing into thin air as the day goes by. Our mission is partly done. But... What do you mean? <laughs> Melody. Christian. There is a wind, a mighty wind, just like a raging storm, blowing around us. Oh, who's gonna save us from all these things? Just like a burning flame, everyone is feeling the heat. Oh, where do we run to? Cause the mountains are falling upon us. There's so much hate, so much bitterness, so many killings and so many lies. Oh, how did we get here? Hello, oh, 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 who's gonna save? 
our children. Oh, 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 oh. who's gonna heal our hearts from all this hate, from all these tears, from all this hate, from all these tears? Our land is crying, our children dying. Dreams are drowning, it's so sad a thing. Seems there is no, no hope for tomorrow. Mama, teach me how to love. Ooh, Papa, show me the road to peace. And he teach me how to love. Uncle, show me compassion. Teach me right, not wrong. Good, not bad. Truth no lies, that the world will be a better place. Oh, 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 oh. who's gonna save our children? Oh, 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 oh. who's gonna heal our hearts? From all this hate, from all these tears, from all this hate, from all these tears, Wind, just like a raging storm, blowing around us. Oh, who's gonna save us from all these? Just like a bonnie flame, everyone is feeling the heat. Oh. Where do we run to? Cause the mountains are falling upon us. There's so much hate, so much bitterness, so many killings, and so many lies. Oh. Our children, who's gonna heal our hearts from all this hate, from all these tears, from all this hate, from all these tears? Our land is crying. Our children dying, dreams are drowning. It's so sad a thing. Seems there is no, no hope for tomorrow. Mama, teach me how to love. Ooh, ooh. Papa, show me the road to peace.